Today, we're diving into the world of SIM cloning, strictly for educational purposes. We'll show you how hackers use powerful, accessible tools to clone SIM cards, so you can understand the risks and protect yourself. Let's start at the very beginning, with a tool that changed the game for hackers and security experts alike, Magic SIM. Magic SIM is often called the OG of SIM cloning software, and for good reason. Back in the early 2000s, when mobile phones were just starting to become mainstream, this tool emerged as a breakthrough for anyone wanting to dig deeper into the secrets stored on SIM cards. What made Magic SIM so revolutionary? It allowed users to read all the data from a SIM card, copy that information, and then write it onto a blank card. In essence, it was like making a perfect digital clone of your phone's identity, something that had never been so accessible before. The real magic happens when hackers use Magic SIM to extract two critical secret codes from the SIM. The MSI, which is your phone's unique subscriber number, and the Kai, a hidden key that acts as the ultimate password for your SIM. The key is especially valuable. It's like the secret handshake between your SIM card and the mobile network. If someone gets hold of your Kai, they can trick the network into thinking their device is actually yours. Older SIM cards, especially those from the early 2000s, had weak security. Magic SIM could brute force the Kai in just a few minutes, making it shockingly easy for hackers to break in. With both the IMSI and Kai codes in hand, a hacker could do almost anything you could do with your phone, make calls, send texts, and even intercept your private messages, all without you ever knowing. This is exactly how two-factor authentication codes, which are supposed to keep your account safe, can end up in the wrong hands. The hacker receives your security codes, bypassing even the most basic protections. To use Magic SIM, you need both the software and a special piece of hardware, a smart card reader. These readers are easy to find and can be bought online for just a few dollars, making SIM cloning accessible to almost anyone with basic tech skills. The core idea behind Magic SIM is simple but powerful. Read the data from a SIM card, copy it, and write it onto a new card. This read-copy-write process is the foundation of all SIM cloning. Next is Mobile Edit Forensic, a professional tool used by law enforcement but also repurposed by hackers. It can extract everything from a phone contacts, texts, photos, even deleted data. For SIM cards, it reads all stored info, including identifiers needed for cloning. Hackers love it because it's a one-stop shop for both SIM and phone data. It supports thousands of devices, making it versatile and effective. Its legitimacy makes it dangerous. Hackers use a tool built for justice as a weapon. With a cracked copy, they leverage millions in R&D for cybercrime. Mobile Edit's thoroughness is what makes it so powerful in the wrong hands. It's the ultimate digital invasion package. Number three on our list is Sim Explorer, a powerful tool designed for those who want to dig deep into the hidden world of a SIM card's file system. This software acts as a digital microscope, allowing users to peer into the very core of what makes a SIM card tick. With Sim Explorer, you're not just scratching the surface, you're diving into the intricate architecture that stores your most personal mobile data. Think of your SIM card as a miniature computer in your pocket. It's not just a piece of plastic, it's a sophisticated chip that stores your contacts, text messages, authentication keys, and all the network settings that let your phone connect to your carrier. Every time you send a text or make a call, your SIM is working behind the scenes, handling the data that keeps you connected. SIM Explorer gives hackers and security researchers the ability to browse, decode, and analyze this treasure trove of information. One of the most critical pieces of data it reveals is the IMSI, or International Mobile Subscriber Identity, which uniquely identifies your SIM on the network. Accessing this data is the first step in understanding or manipulating a SIM card's behavior. But SIM Explorer isn't just about reading data, it can also write and modify the contents of a SIM card. This means users can change stored information, update network settings, or even inject new data opening up a world of possibilities for both legitimate testing and malicious intent. Hackers often use SIM Explorer to extract sensitive data for the purpose of cloning a SIM card or tweaking network configurations. By copying the right files and settings, they can create a duplicate SIM that behaves exactly like the original, bypassing many security measures. Number four is the SIM cloning tool, designed for simplicity. With just a few clicks, anyone can attempt to clone a SIM. The software automates the process, extracting the Kai and MSI if possible. Cheap card readers and bundled drivers make this accessible to anyone. These tools mostly work on older, vulnerable SIM cards. For modern cards, they usually fail, but millions of old cards are still out there. 
cybercrime isn't always sophisticated, sometimes it's just easy. A basic tool can be all a hacker needs if the target is outdated. It's a numbers game, and there are plenty of easy targets. At number 5 is Waron Scan, a tool built to find the secret key key. It uses brute force attacks, sending thousands of challenges to the sim. Older sims leak bits of the key, and Waron Scan pieces it together. On vulnerable cards, it can extract the key in minutes or hours. This tool made sim hacking accessible to anyone with patience. Before Waron Scan, you needed deep technical knowledge. Now, it's just a matter of running the program and waiting. It's useless against modern sims, but its legacy is huge. War on Scan shows how one flaw can compromise millions. It's a cautionary tale for tech companies everywhere. Number six is generic card reader software, legit tools bundled with smart card readers. They let you send commands to the sim and read responses. Hackers use them to manually access sim data, combining them with scripts for attacks. It's a more technical, hands-on approach, but gives full control. These tools are everywhere and look harmless. No antivirus will flag them. The danger is in the intent, not the tool. Hackers can combine ordinary software to achieve their goals. Sometimes the simplest tools are the hardest to detect. Next up is Sim Master, a deceptively simple yet incredibly powerful tool designed for managing SIM cards. At first glance, it appears to be a user-friendly application, perfect for anyone looking to back up their SIM data such as contacts and text messages, with just a few clicks. The software presents your contacts and messages in a clean, organized interface, making it easy to view, edit, and export your information. But beneath this straightforward appearance, SIM Master can actually read the entire contents of a SIM card, not just the obvious data. This capability is what makes it so attractive to hackers. They can use SIM Master to create a complete digital image of a SIM card, capturing everything stored on it. Once they have this image, they can write it onto a blank SIM card, effectively creating a perfect clone. The process is surprisingly easy and non-destructive. With just a few button presses, backup, then restore, anyone can duplicate a SIM card without leaving a trace or damaging the original. This dual-use nature is what makes SIM Master so dangerous. While it's marketed as a legitimate backup tool for everyday users, it's also the perfect instrument for SIM cloning, a technique often used in cybercrime. Social engineering often comes into play here. Hackers might trick unsuspecting victims into downloading and running SIM Master themselves, perhaps by disguising it as a helpful utility or sending it as an attachment in a phishing email. Number eight is the USB SIM card reader, the hardware that makes cloning possible. Cheap and widely available, it's the bridge between SIM and computer. The included software lets you read basic SIM data, but hackers use it to set up more advanced attacks. Once connected, they switch to powerful tools like War on Scan or Sim Explorer. The reader is just the enabler. Anyone can buy one, no questions asked. There are no restrictions, making it the silent backbone of Sim cloning. It's as easy to get as a mouse or keyboard. Accessibility is the real threat. Number nine is Sim Card Editor, software for editing Sim contents. It's meant for managing contacts, but can read and copy all Sim data. Hackers use it to extract the MC, and create full digital backups. These backups can be restored onto blank sims, making perfect clones. The software's simplicity hides its power. Many versions are free and look harmless. Victims might use it themselves, not realizing the risk. Social engineering is easy with tools like this. Convenience and danger go hand in hand. Finally, SimEmu, a tool that emulates sim cards and software. It lets you create a super sim with multiple profiles or act as a virtual sim on a computer. Hackers use it to load stolen Kai and MC codes, then impersonate victims in real time. With SimEmu, they can intercept calls, texts, and data as they happen. It's advanced, requiring programmable cards and deep GSM knowledge. In the right hands, it's a powerful espionage tool. SimEmu goes beyond cloning to real-time interception. It's the pinnacle of sim hacking technology. Only the most skilled attackers use it, but its potential is huge. So, what can you do to stay safe? Most modern SIMs are secure, but older cards are still at risk. Protect your phone and SIM from physical access. Be wary of social engineering and never install unknown software. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more deep dives into tech and security.